Chapter 2 Alimudin As for myself, an unsuspecting merchant from the southern Philippines, I was caught in the chaos of two rich, powerful, Christ-fearing but belligerent world powers, whose thirst for expansion precedes that of the natives of this once peaceful sultanate. I am Elias de Sal, son of Mindanao. People say I do not look like it, though. It's probably because my mother was a Chinese immigrant from the Fujian province, and my father, a local trader, is of Arab descent. It doesn't matter, though. In our country, the complexity of one's skin determines your place in the social hierarchy. Case system, if you will. And, as mentioned earlier, I was one of the Manilans caught and wrongly imprisoned by the new governor, Dawson Drake. I have no idea till when I am to be released, nor does my family know about what has happened to my enterprise here in Manila. Sadiq, a lone figure calls from behind. Yes, my friend, I replied. An Indian who speaks Arabic, he asks. I know a little, yes. Are you bothered more that you are a prisoner of the British rather than the Spaniards? He asks me again. The man is Sultan Ali Madin, a man accused of treason by the Spaniards. He may look like a character that sprung up from a thousand and one nights, but he was a once beloved leader of the kingdom of Sulu and Saba. He converted into Christianity and tried to help Spain bring in Jesuit missionaries in his beloved southern kingdom. Of course, it did not sit well with his family, and after everything he had done for his newfound friends from the west, they accused him of treason, and they have held him captive in the same dungeon for ten years, not knowing if he will ever see the light of day ever again. I've heard about you. Tell me, Great Sultan. Is it true what they say? What do they say? Well, you forsook your own, and now you have been abandoned by the very people who promised you absolute reign over the country. Is that what they say about me? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I deserve to be crucified. What do you think? It doesn't matter what I think. Really? Do you think I deserve to be imprisoned here for what I did? Sending a letter of peace in the south, but they read it wrong. Well, at least the Spanish couriers did. I should have known they wouldn't understand Arabic. <laughs> Said I was abdicating for war. Could you believe it? I should be happier then. Happier for... The English had caught me, and not the Spaniards. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. What is your name again?